हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सेंट जोसेफ्स कंपोजिट पीयू कॉलेज विजयपुर माय सेल्फ किरण बट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स थैंक यू फॉर चूजिंग अवर इंस्टीट्यूशन नाउ लेट अस बिगिन विद द ब्रिज कोर्स फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर पीयूसी इन द स्टार्टिंग विद द मैथमेटिकल टूल्स फॉर फिजिक्स सो द फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद द सो बेसिक मैथमेटिक्स फॉर physics so mathematics is a tools for a physics so the base of mathematics helps in understanding the physical phenomena as well as its applications so here the what are the topics we are discussing now that will helps in your first year puc syllabus particularly in physics so let us just recall with what all the basic mathematics needed for a physics so here we'll start with the quadratic equation i hope you already know the quadratic equation what is quadratic equations you already know that a second degree equation a second degree equation is called a quadratic equation i hope it is clear a second degree equation is called quadratic equation this will be written as in mathematically here ax square plus bx plus c is equals to zero general form of an quadratic equation in this a b and c are constants here a b and c are constants and x is a variable x is a variable now how to solve this quadratic equation particularly by using the formula the solution for this quadratic equations so what is the value of x how to find the value of x so here the formula is to find the value of x that is the solution solution for the solution for the quadratic equation that is x equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so here this is the solution for the quadratic equation that is x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac here b square minus 4ac is under root and whole divided by 2 into a where a b and c are the constant so we have two solutions we are getting two value for x either one is it is positive or it is negative or both are positive like that so here mainly keep it in your mind we are getting two answers for a x so let us see we can solve the one question which is related to this quadratic equation we take an example so here we have to solve this quadratic equation by using the formula what we see earlier by using that formula we have to solve this equation x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 so here first of all we have to compare this equation with the general equation of quadratic equation general equation of a quadratic equation we have to compare this so that first we have to compare the equation 1 and equation 2 here equation 1 is the given equations means example and equation 2 is the general equation so here we have to compare the both the equations compare equation 1 and 2. if we compare the equation 1 and 2 
the constant terms in a general equations that is a a which is equals to here 1 and b is equals to minus 5 and c is equals to 6 i hope that's clear after comparing the both the equation next step is apply the formula means the solution for the formula we have to take a formula that is x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a now we already took the formula x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a the next step is substitute the values we already know the value of constant so these values we have to substitute in the formula so let us substitute in the formula minus b so here b value is minus 5 that's why minus of minus 5 plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac b square is minus 5 the whole square minus 4ac that is 4 into a value is 1 and c value is 6 whole divided by 2a that is 2 into 1 i hope clear next step is simplifications we already know the mathematical simplifications plus or minus multiplications and all so according to that here minus of minus 5 is there so that minus of minus becomes plus 5 next it is plus or minus root of b square b square here b is minus 5 so minus 1 the whole square is 1 minus get cancelled and 5 square 5 square is 25 so plus 25 because minus square square is there so 25 minus 4 into 1 4 and 4 into 6 it is 24 so root of 25 minus 24 and whole divided by 2 into 1 which is 2 i think it's clear next further simplification 5 plus or minus as it is root of here 25 minus 24 is there so 25 minus 24 will be 1 and whole divided by 2 the next is further simplifications 5 plus or minus 1 root 1 is that root 1 becomes 1 and divided by 2 5 plus or minus 1 divided by 2 that is the value of x is either 5 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equals to 6 by 2 is equals to 3 or x is equals to here I took plus here plus or minus is the the next term 5 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 5 minus 1 is 4 4 by 2 which is equals to 2 either x is equals to 3 or x equals to 2 x is equals to 3 or x is equals to 2 so this is the solution for that quadratic equation means value of x in a quadratic equation by using the formula i hope you understood this so i think if i gave some other equations i hope you can solve this equations so let us take some equations for a homework purpose okay, let us take down the some example for a homework the first one is x square minus 9x plus 14 equals to 0 the second one is 2x square plus 5x minus 12 equals to 0 
नेक्स्ट द थर्ड क्वेश्चन थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स प्लस फाइव इज इक्व टू जीरो एंड द फोर्थ वन आई होप यू नोट डाउन दिस द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस नाइन एक्स प्लस फोर्टीन इज इक्व टू जीरो नेक्स्ट टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्व टू जीरो नेक्स्ट वन थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स प्लस फाइव इज इक्व टू जीरो नेक्स्ट वन फोर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए एक्स प्लस ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्व टू जीरो दिज फोर क्वेश्चन फॉर अ होमवर्क यू कैन सॉल्व बाय यूजिंग द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सोल्यूशन द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन कंपेरिंग दिस विद द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला एक्स इज इक्व टू माइनस बी प्लस और माइनस रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी एंड होल डिवाइड बाई टू ए बाई यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन सॉल्व दिस फोर क्वेश्चन आई थिंक यू नोट डाउन दिस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास we'll discuss about the next topic next mathematical topics which helps to physics